Well, hello there. Who do we have here? Now, now. There's no need to be afraid. My body is shrouded in shadow, true. But I mean you no harm. I simply mean to welcome you to my humble abode. I must say, you are a bold one. You've entered this abandoned house on your own and of your own free will, seemingly with little regard for your personal safety. Ah, I suppose you've come in here to get out of that downpour outside. Well, I can't promise you it'll be warm in here, but this house will at least provide you some shelter. Feel free to bide your time here until the rain passes. Who am I? Well, you can think of me as the lord of this house. It's not exactly well kept, but it's where I've made my home nonetheless. I am the owner and sole occupant here, though I suppose that might not be a surprise to you. Who would want to live along with this shade of a man? And in a desolate and unnerving place such as this, no less. And yet you strolled in regardless. You must either be very brave or very naive. Ah, do excuse me. Whatever led you to this place, I'll extend my hospitality to you to the best of my ability. Come, make yourself at home. I have some tea prepared if you would like to have some. Very well. I'll pour a cup for you as well. There. Take your time with it. It may be some time before the rain passes. I must say, looking at you now, I'm rather captivated by your facial features. Ah, don't take me the wrong way. I merely mean I have grown unused to them. I used to have a normal human form like you, but now I'm merely a shadow of my former self. And since I haven't seen anyone in a long time living here on my own, I've forgotten what a normal human head looks like. So your more defined features are alluring to me. Your hair is fine and delicate. And the way your nose and ears stick out is rather curious. It's rather amusing, actually. Funny the things you can take for granted like that. <clears throat> My apologies. I didn't mean to scare you. Do you like the tea? Glad to hear it. It's my own special blend I've made while living here. I spend a lot of time here, so I've had plenty of time to perfect it. It can feel quite empty living here on my own, but tea can help me keep a level head as I waste my days away in here. So... Were you on your way back home before you got caught up in this? Hmm, I see. Well, tell me what your home is like. Ah, I see. That does sound wonderful. It's great to have somewhere nice and comfortable to live. Home is where the heart is, as they say. Though, I'm not sure I could say the same for myself. Although, maybe I still have a heart in here somewhere. Me? What do I do here? Well, it's a little bit complicated to explain. Strictly speaking, I spend all my time here. Reading, tending to the rooms, whatever way I can pass the time, really. 
See, in truth, I have been forced to reside here by a sort of curse that has afflicted this house. I cannot leave no matter how hard I try. So, I spend my days here with no way to escape this boring, desolate house. Thankfully, the curse eliminates my need for sustenance, so I have no need for food or water. Drinking tea and the like is simply a mild pleasure to keep my mind off of the emptiness and tedium. The curse also left my body in this state, shrouded in shadow and features obscured by darkness. After entering this house for the first time, my body became transformed into what you see before you. My features are undefined, and my form is rather incorporeal. If you were to try to touch my head, for example, your hand would phase right through at first, then you'll meet some resistance a little ways in. You seem rather curious as to what it would feel like. Well, I wouldn't recommend trying it. The sensation isn't particularly pleasant. Neither is my whole situation, as a matter of fact. Being trapped here on my own for so many years has been more challenging than you can imagine. It's monotonous, draining, and sometimes, late at night, you can hear whispers and creaking and other disturbing noises all around the house. You could swear the house has a life of its own. The whole experience changes a man. But you, you have so much promise. And your face is so full of life. Soft, yet firm all at once. You have grown into such a well-defined and unique person, haven't you? Ah, uh, <clears throat> I do apologize. I let myself go there again for a moment. Anyways, that's my lot in life. Doomed to spend the rest of my days in this house, alone and destitute. I appreciate your pity, but there's nothing that can be done, I'm afraid. I fought long and hard, and tried plenty of ways to escape. But in the end, it's always for naught. I've resided to my fate at this point. Well, the rain seems to be letting up, and if you've finished your tea... I suppose you'll be heading off. I must say, your company has been most welcome. It has been a good many years since I've seen another human being, so it was refreshing to meet and talk with you. And I appreciate your patience and concern for me. You still wish to try and help? Ha. <laughs> You really are selfless, aren't you? You rather remind me of myself when I was younger. So full of kindness and optimism, and willing to help everyone in need that they can. Hmm. Perhaps you could help me. There could be a way to get me out of this predicament. But, I should warn you, you would have to make a great sacrifice to do so. You may have to give up more of your time than you realize. Even then, would you still be prepared to lend me your aid? You'd still be willing to help me? Well, I appreciate your selflessness, and I'm glad you'll lend me your aid. Here's to a brighter future. I must thank you, you know. Without your help, 
I'd never have gotten free. What's happening? Well, I told you that you could help me. And this is how. Right now, a shadow-like parasite that had claimed possession of my body has passed on to you. Now, you will be bound to this nest the shadow calls its home, and will slowly lose yourself to its ravenous hunger. Your soul will slowly be consumed, until you're a shell of the person you once were. And then, eventually, there will be nothing left of you. Hmm. Your resentment towards me is understandable. I'm free from that terrible fate, while you may now have to spend years decaying in darkness. But there may be a silver lining to fully giving yourself up to this shadowy monster. I have a theory that while the parasite can feed on one body for many years, once it has used up the life force of that body, it will have nothing left to sustain itself. Unless it ensnares someone in its trap again, it will wither away and never harm anyone again. If you were to sacrifice yourself, you could spare everyone else from this terrible burden. It is truly a heavy price to pay, but you could save a great many people from suffering. Well, now I have my freedom, I shall be making my exit. It is regrettable leaving you in this position, but... Such is the way of this cruel place. Before I leave, however, I will remind you. There is one way you can escape this fate. If you ever want to free yourself from the Shadow's possession, you merely need hope for some unlucky soul to wander in here and convince them to take possession of the parasite from you, just like I did. By exploiting their trust, they will then take on the burden themselves, but you will have earned your safety and freedom. Those are your options. Subject someone else to this cycle of suffering, or end it all by sacrificing yourself. The choice is yours. Maybe you'll have the strength to make a more selfless decision than I did. Farewell.